welcome to this introduction video for the Destex platform, design support and tooling for embedded control software. The Destex platform connects modeling principles through co-simulation. VDM models are used to describe the discrete logic of the embedded controller, while bunt graph models are used to describe the continuous physical behavior that the controller needs to monitor and control. To download and install the Destex tool suite and examples, please go to the destex.org homepage and press the download Destex link. This will take you to the download page where the tool suite can be downloaded up here and the examples can be downloaded down here. I already did this and installed the tool suite and this is the introduction screen you will be met when you launch the Destex platform. Just close that down for now. I will now show you how to import the examples into your workspace. Right click, right click your workspace area, press import, choose general existing project into workspace. Choose select archive file and browse to the location of your, uh, the examples that you just downloaded. Press open, select all the projects you want to import and press finish. Destex will now import all the projects and build all the projects and statically check them. This will take a few minutes, so I'll return once Destex has finished doing this. All of the projects in the workspace have now finished building. I will use a line following robot as a running example, explaining some of the key capabilities of the Destex tool. I will just start a co-simulation of this project while I explain the uh, key functionality of the, uh, of the system. Um, the robot has two motors controlling two wheels. It has encoders attached to each wheel giving feedback on the uh, wheel rotation. And it has two light sensors attached to the front of the robot which can detect a dark line which is drawn on the floor. And as you can see, the robot will slowly follow this line. The green arrows indicate which direction each of the two wheels are turning. All right. What actually ties the discrete event controller with the continuous dynamics of the, uh, the co-model is what we call a contract. The contract of the line following robot looks like this. Um, we have monitored and controlled variables. Um, the monitored variables uh, are the encoder on the left and right wheel, as well as the left and right light sensors. The controlled variables uh, indicate the velocity to the left and right motor, as well as some, some control LEDs. We also have shared design parameters, which are parameters that the two models, the discrete event and continuous time models, need to agree upon. And here we have the uh, sensor placement. To set up a co-simulation, we need to set up a debug configuration. So you click the small arrow next to the bug and choose debug configurations. Go to the line following ARCA 121. Um, and this is how it looks like. You can set up the total simulation time. Let's change this to 10 seconds simulated time. You can also set up more advanced uh, settings like setting up a distributed co-simulation where the two models are not located on the same PC. Here we just use a port on the local host since both models are running on the same machine. We can also set the values of the shared design parameters. So let's change this to 0 0.05 and see the difference. Press apply and press debug to rerun the simulation. Here we can see the uh, placement of the sensors have been changed greatly and you can see how the robot behaves differently. The values of the shared design parameters are automatically read in by the models and used in the simulation. We have just seen how the shared design parameters can be changed manually. The Destex tool suite includes the automated co-model analysis tool called ARCA. This enables automated sweeps of shared design parameter values. 
a special Arca debug configuration must be set up. So please go to the debug configuration menu, choose Arca launch and the line following Arca. Go to the shared design parameters suite tab. Here you can see each of the two shared design parameters get an initial value, a final value and an increment value. The tool will then automatically create all permutations of these values and run a separate co-simulation for each of these. Let's change this increment to 0.04 and delete the sweep on the second parameter. This limits the ACA to only run two simulations, one with the value of 0.01 and one with the value of 0.05. Press apply and debug to run the co-simulation. This will start several co-simulation runs so I will just pause the recording here and return once we have finished. Both co-simulations of the ARCA have now been executed and an output file for each co-simulation have been generated. Go to the output folder and here you see the two runs. If you wish to rerun one of these, just go to the launch file, right click Choose Test Text, Generate and Launch. This will automatically generate a new debug configuration that will be that the tool will run right away. I hope you enjoyed this short video introduction to the Desktex tool suite. For additional information, please go to the desktex.org homepage and click the Desktex Wiki link. This will take you to a wiki page describing much more of the functionality of the Desktex tool in detail. Thanks a lot for watching.